train enthusiasts. Today we're putting the Class 08 HO scale model train to the test. Let's find out if this model train is worth it. Join me as I dive into the details, explore its features and give you my honest opinion on whether this train deserves a spot on your tracks. So without further ado, let's get into the video. The Class 08 is a class of diesel electric locomotives that played a significant role in the history of railways in the United Kingdom. The Class 08 Shunty is part of the larger British Rail Class 08, which is the standard sign for shunting locomotives in the UK. The design is based on the LMS London Midland and Scottish Railway 12033 prototype built in 1939. Production began in 1952 with a total of 996 locomotives built over several years. The Class 08 shunter was designed primarily for shunting duties which involves moving wagons and carriages around the railway yard stations and depots. They are known for their versatility and reliability making them an essential workhorse in the UK rail network. The locomotives are diesel-electric with a power output typically around 350 to 410 horsepower. They are relatively small in size, making them ideal for operating in tight spaces. Many of these locomotives are equipped with knuckle couplers for connecting and moving various types of rolling stock. Class 08 shunters were used by British Rail and various industrial and private railway operators in the UK. They were employed for a wide range of shunting operations such as assembling and disassembling trains, loading and unloading freight and moving wagons within rail yards. These locomotives were a common sight in rail yards and played a crucial role in the smooth operations of the British Rail network. Despite their age, many Class OH shunters continue to operate on heritage railways and for industrial purposes. Some locomotives have been preserved and restored for heritage purposes and a few can be seen at railway museums and events. Let's check out some of this loco's details. The British Railway sticker is prominently displayed on the side of the locomotive. Moulded bolts and nails can be seen on the side of the locomotive. On the side of the cab you'll find the number D3035. The interior of the cab has no details. The rear of the locomotive is somewhat lacking in detail. The buffers are well designed and provide a realistic appearance. The locomotive doesn't have much paintwork. Okay, so let's take a look at the mechanism. So as you can see, this locomotive has a three-pole motor. You can tell because it's got, there's one there, one there, and one there. You know, magnet, worm drive. Yeah, mechanism seems pretty good, just slightly dirty, but yeah. Okay, so let's check out this performance. Okay. Oh, it's stuck. That's weird. Why do they keep getting stuck? Okay, we'll try for the curl. Ooh, it's not actually good. Yeah, it's a pretty bad curl. Yeah, see the fast speeds. Yeah, it's pretty good. Let's see if this loco can pull 13 coaches. Okay, and barely, yes, it actually can. Oh, it's actually doing quite nicely. That's quite interesting. Yeah, so that's some more. So let's see if this loco can pull 19 of these rolling stock. Let's see, forward direction? Nope. Uh, backwards? Huh? I mean, not really, I wouldn't count that. Yeah, okay. So I think that's really the limit. So yeah.
Thanks for watching and until next time, happy railroading. If you're considering buying the Flying Scotsman model train and want to know if it lives up to the hype, watch the next video.